Hello, my name is Sergio Ardila. I am the top attorney here at Morgan Morgan Atlanta in their workers' comp division. And today I'm just going to be going over the basics of what you can expect in your workers' comp hearing. Now, nothing in this video is going to create an attorney client relationship. None of this is legal advice. Everything is just general information. This video is for information or purpose only. If you have any questions specifically about your claim, you should consult your attorney. If I'm your attorney, obviously just give me a call and we can discuss. And all right, let's get started. So Georgia Workers' Comp is what is called administrative law. That means that there's not going to be a jury in your hearing. It's really just going to be a judge. It's called an administrative law judge, ALJ for short. And if you hear your attorney referring to an ALJ, that's what he or she's talking about. So you can expect, once you go down to the courtroom, to only see a judge there. There will also, who will be the decision maker. There will also be a court reporter that's gonna be writing everything that everybody says down. The reason why the court reporter is there is to make sure that there's a record, something that your attorney and then the insurance company's attorney can refer back to when making, I guess, the equivalent of their closing argument, which in Georgia workers' comp is just a brief that both attorneys file to try to persuade the judge ultimately to rule in their favor. Once the hearing gets started, the judge will discuss some preliminary matters with the attorneys. None of this is going to be on the record. It's just to make sure that the judge understands exactly why we're there, what it is that the parties are fighting, what it is that they're going to be arguing, and to make sure that the judge understands some basic, oftentimes non-contested parts of your claim. Usually the insurance company will stipulate to some things and the judge will cover that. After that, the judge will start the record and the judge will open the claim by stating some things on the record that parties are not contesting, some things that are agreed on by both parties so that everybody can start from a general understanding. After that, your attorney will stand up, go to the podium and call you as the first witness. You don't have to be the first witness, but typically you are the star witness of your claim. So the attorney will call you first and try to get testimony out of you so that in that method and that manner, the story of how your injury occurred, the narrative can be told to the judge. During this point, the defense attorney has a right to object to any questions that the defense attorney deems inappropriate. And if there is an objection on the record, your attorney will have a chance to try to argue as to why that particular line of questioning is proper and the judge can make a decision on the spot. After that, the insurance company's attorney will have a chance or a right to come and cross-examine you. This is where they will ask you questions about your claim and try to get testimony that's beneficial for them. It is common for some attorneys to be very theatrical during this part, so you can expect that. They might be a bit antagonistic. Your attorney will be able to make objections if there's they cross the line that's beyond appropriate or if they ask certain questions that might not be appropriate during that part of the hearing or any part at all. Your attorney has the right to make objections at that point and the judge can make a decision on the spot whether to sustain the objections or overrule them. Typically, the defense attorney at this point, they have will have usually taken your deposition, but during the hearing, they will be a bit more adversarial, so just be prepared for that. If there is anything in your testimony of the deposition that might be questionable or anything that maybe doesn't add up, the defense attorney is gonna bring that up at that point to try to damage your credibility I discussed this in other videos and why it's very important to protect your credibility throughout the claim. At that point, your attorney, or after that, your attorney will have the right to do one final line of questioning for you as your, to get your testimony out, to maybe strain out anything that might have been misconstrued or to reiterate something that maybe that attorney thinks that needs some reiteration. At that point, it will be if you have more witnesses, then your attorney will call those witnesses and do the same process with them. When you're done with your side, the insurance the company will have a right to bring on their witnesses and then do a direct examination. After that, your attorney will have a right or a chance to cross-examine and then try to pick out any inconsistencies in their testimony. Usually in workers' comp, there's not a closing argument as other type of claims, other type of case that you might have seen on TV. Although there is a right to have a closing argument, so it's not a rule that you're not allowed to do so. It's just not the common practice, at least here in Georgia workers' comp. And then after that, the judge will close the record and both attorneys will have a right to 
get the transcript and then submit a final brief restating their arguments. The judge can take a couple of months to make a decision.